Hey students, this is Mr. Dowd, and this video is for those of you that fell a little behind or were absent when we set up the walking animation assignment. All right, so what you are going to do is you are going to open up a new file in Adobe Animate, and I would like you to choose the standard HD size. You can see that you get a full HD, which is pretty big. So I am going to click on the more presets. And I am going to choose where it says just HD. And that is the 1280 pixel by 720 pixel. It's a manageable size for our monitors. We're gonna click and create. Here you can see that we have the stage, which is our area that, uh, our work area in Adobe Animate. And uh, right away, I see up here at 100%. And if I look, that means it is bigger than my window just by a little bit. And I just go ahead and write fit in window and that way I can see my entire stage. And because animation involves movement, the other thing that I want to do is turn on my grid in Adobe Animate. What I can do is do the control key on the keyboard and the quote mark, which is just to the left of the enter key, and that will turn on my grid. You can see all of my little squares here. Hey, the grid's driving you crazy, you don't like it. Control key, quote mark, turns it back off. So control and quote is the toggle for the grid. Again, I'm gonna use my grid so I can see uh, where my previous object was. Before I create any objects, I have to set up my layers. Uh, in making a character walk in animation, in Adobe Animate in particular, you're going to use several layers. In fact, six of them. So most likely your window is set up like mine with your timeline at the bottom. And so on the bottom, what I am going to do is, like in Photoshop, use the little plus in the box, and I am just going to click it. One, two, three, four, five. Five more times, and now you can see that I have six layers. So the we're making a very simple walking animation. So what I'm going to do is um, just use a body, two arms and two legs to show walking. Uh, and then I have my sixth layer, that is going to be the ground. It is gonna be the substrate that my character is walking on. In our case, it's just gonna be a simple line. But I'm going to name my layer. So if you see where my mouse is here, I'm right over where it says layer one. I'm going to double click and I'm going to just call this ground, G-R-O-U-N-D. There it is. Um, now, like in Photoshop, like in Illustrator, the layers are going to be, um, what is on top is what shows over everything else. And then it will cover everything below it. And then the next layer will cover everything below it, except what's above. So if you think about walking from the side, and that's what we're gonna do, a profile view of somebody walking then what you will see is there is the leg that is closest to the view and the arm that are closest to the view will be the top layers. The body will be in the middle and then the back or furthest from the view leg and arm. So I'm gonna start at the bottom here and this is going to be my back arm. Notice I'm using camel case to name my layers. So these are my layers. Hey, if you mess up their order, don't worry about it. You can always click and drag and move the layers around. Hey, I do want my front arm at the top. 
and that's because if you think about looking at someone from the side, the shoulders a little wider than the hips, the arm will hang down in front of the leg as viewed from the side. All right, so I've got front arm, front leg, body, back leg, back arm, and the ground. Now what I wanna do is I wanna get some frames set up. If you remember a couple of weeks ago, we looked at a video that was just introducing us to animation. And one of the things the narrator talked about was animating on the tubes, which means that for every, um, for, instead of animating a picture for every frame, we are gonna animate the same picture every two frames. Oh, by the way, notice I am set at 24 frames per second. If your file did not default to 24 frames per second, if it instead says 30, I'd like you to go ahead and right click in the stage, document, and then right down here, you can click and you can reset your frame rate. Make yours 24, just like mine is. All right, so I am going to uh, start by highlighting all of my layers because I want to make um, frames on the twos out to the 20th frame. Now, if you're thinking, uh, Mr. How are we gonna have something walk when it isn't even a complete second? And what uh, the answer is, we're going to loop this. And so we are going to make a cycle of two steps. That is the front leg going forward through the step motion and then the back leg coming forward uh, and as the legs switch. And then throughout uh, any other animation use we have, we're gonna be able to loop that step. So what I'm gonna do now is hold down the shift key and click my ground layer. So I've got my top layer highlighted, my front arm layer. I'm going to hold the shift key, go to the ground layer. Now you can see all of my layers are highlighted. They are all lit up. You see I have a slider here above the frames, the frames being these little rectangles. And what I'm going to do is go to the very top of the keyboard and I'm going to press F5 key. And when I do, you'll notice what happened. It just uh, made a, a lighter shade of gray over the next frames. I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna keep doing it. And you can see that I keep highlighting frames. Now I'm at five. I'm just gonna keep pressing F5 until this highlight gets to 20. Once I have 20 frames selected, I'm going to stop so now you can see that I've got like a faint circle. I really haven't put anything. There's nothing drawn on the stage. All I've done is I have highlighted and selected 20 frames out. All right, now I am going to set up my frames so that I animate on the two. You'll notice that my layers are highlighted, but when I click, they become unhighlighted. But that's all right if I can actually highlight in my frames the same way. If I hold down my shift key and I, in the top frame, I can uh, shift and then click on the bottom and you can see that first frame is all highlighted. What I want to do actually is count out two frames at a time. So I am going to go from one, two, and three. So I'm going to go and click right here and I'm gonna hold the shift I'm gonna click on the third frame on the bottom notice this entire column of frames is highlighted and I'm gonna press the F6 key this time and there we go I've got a, a black empty circle and then the next frame has a little dash in it and you can see a line that separates those I'm gonna do the same thing I'm going to count I can use the arrow key one, two, to select, hold the shift key, select at the bottom, 
F6. And I'm going to repeat this process until I have made keyframes every two frames. Here I go. There I have it. I have 20 frames, but on the twos. Now I am set up to actually start my animation. My uh, file in my stage has a HD screen. It has six layers, including a ground layer and the body parts as you see here. It has those um, those frames selected all the way out to 20 and then I've made keyframes on the twos so there's actually 10 spots here for images. Now that I've got that, I am ready to go.